All right, hey everyone, Coach Kayla here, and today I wanna to talk to you about limiting beliefs. So, have you ever felt like you just can't do something for a reason that you actually sometimes maybe don't even really know why that reason is? That can be considered a limiting belief. So, there are a couple ways that we don't progress through what it is that we're trying to progress through. And one of those ways is with these limiting beliefs that we put on ourselves and oftentimes for no real apparent reason. So there's two types of limiting beliefs. You've got your um, ideas that we've adopted via society and then your own personal beliefs. And these are, both of these beliefs can be good or bad limiting beliefs. Like that's the thing that you have to think about. Like limiting beliefs actually can be a good thing. They can be good beliefs, but they could also still limit you. So for example, like ones that we've um, maybe adopted via society is maybe how you're brought up. So for example, like for me, going to college was something that I just knew that I was going to be doing. Why? Because my parents went to college. I was brought up that you're supposed to go to college after you go to high school. That's just what you did. So making the decision to go to college actually wasn't that difficult for me. However, the idea, like looking back, I probably wasn't ready to go to uh, college at the time. Like I, I had wanted to take some time off and go skiing. And that was a decision that I didn't end up making because I had this limiting belief that that was not the correct path. That wasn't the path that you were supposed to go on. Why? Because I was brought up that that's not how it works. So that's kind of this where sometimes that's a limiting belief. Now, it, you know, another example is maybe you're someone who is in a family that hasn't, never, nobody went to college. And so when you go to college for the first time, that's a really fabulous thing because it wasn't necessarily ingrained in you. So those are limiting beliefs that are kind of brought in through society. And then the others that are more your personal beliefs are the ones that, you know, that are good at something or not good at something. Maybe this is some self-belief issues that you're having. And these are the ones that we really want to need to bring to the surface. So one of the key pieces about trying to move through our limiting beliefs um, and move past these challenges is when we need to release them. So we need to acknowledge them. We need to take action against them. So there are, we, if we don't recognize them, then we can't move through them. So we have to kind of move past them in, in two ways. Is one, we have to take action. So prevent ourselves from sabotaging and then work on our mindset. So like remind ourselves what we've done in the past maybe, or how to move past it by working around it. So what I want to talk to you about today is this little process um, that I learned in a program that I'm taking. Um, and it's an adoption of something called the work from Byron Kate. And basically what this is doing is it's teaching our brain to work around our limiting belief and prove to ourselves that we can do it. So it's this idea of once again, turning your subconscious brain to work for you. So I've mentioned this in the past in a couple of my other videos is that this idea of you've got the conscious brain and the subconscious brain and they work interchangeably. The conscious brain is our logical thinking brain and the subconscious is more of our emotional. That's the one that kind of forces us to do things or makes us do things that maybe we don't want to or stops us from doing something because it doesn't want to. Um, and that, that's a much faster thinking uh, system and it can be more poignant, it can be stronger. Um, and so when we have these limiting beliefs, that's our subconscious brain constantly telling us, no, you can't do that, you can't do that. And so we have to train that subconscious brain to work around that system and to train our subconscious brain to look for evidence to prove that our limiting belief is not actually limiting, that it can be something that we you know, want kind of work towards. So what we do basically is we ask ourselves a couple of questions. One, we come up with our limiting belief and then we ask ourselves, um, what is the evidence for why or why it is not true? So the goal of this is to prove that your limiting belief is not absolute, is that provide evidence to trick your brain into telling you that your belief is not actually true. Um, and so we ask ourselves, is it true? Yes or no? Um, and then if you say, yes, it is true, you say, okay, how can I absolutely know that it's true? Is it absolutely true? Yes or no? And then we say, and we can, then we go, well, 
I don't know, maybe not. So, you know, we're kind of questioning ourselves here. And then we say, okay, what evidence do we have that it isn't true? And so then you kind of, you know, work yourself creating some evidence. So if we're going, I'll give you an example here in a second. And then you say, okay, how do you react to what, when this does happen? And then what would you be, and what actions can you do to work around this? So let's say, for example, one of my limiting beliefs has always been that I'm a bad swimmer. And I'm a, you know, I, I'm a bad swimmer. And this is because I didn't grow up swimming. I'm, I you know, I'm a little bit slower, etc. So is, my question is, um, am I a bad swimmer? Yes. Can you absolutely know that this is true? Well, not really. I can't really know that it's true. What evidence do I have to prove that I'm not a bad swimmer? Well, you know, I able to complete an Ironman distance swim. I have improved in my swimming over the years. I've gotten faster. I come out in the top portion of age groupers in a triathlon and not the back portion. Is it's I can swim, you know, five thousand yards and not drown. Um, I also just don't drown when I swim. So these are all reasons that I'm saying this is not true, that I'm a bad swimmer. And so then we say, okay, what actions will I take to move through this issue that I think that I'm a, a bad swimmer? So for me, I wanted to do positive affirmations. And so I said, constantly told myself, I am a good swimmer. I am a strong swimmer. I am a fast swimmer. And I did this for a month straight. And I eventually started to believe that I was a good swimmer. And when I then, and then the other piece is, okay, here's another action. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that I get into the pool four times a week um, because I know that the more swimming I do, the better I'll be. So four times a week, I'm gonna get into the pool. And then we say, okay, those are my actions that I'm going to take. So now I have a plan that will disprove this concept that I'm a bad swimmer. So we basically just created this big circle where we started out with our negative thought we prove to ourselves that it's not actually true. And then we created action to continue on a loop to prove that it is not true. And that's how we work around our limiting beliefs. First, we, you know, we have to start to recognize when things need to change. And we have to recognize the thought. Um, a great way to think about this is is think about it as if it's a backpack that you're wearing and it's heavy because it's weighing you down and maybe your shoulders are starting to slump and it's pulling you forward or pulling you back, one of the two. What would happen if you removed that backpack? What, how would you be able to react? How would you be able to think? How would you be able to move towards your goals? How would you be when your relationships, if you removed that limiting belief and removed that thought and proved to yourself that it was not actually true, who would you be? So that's the question I post to you guys. Ask yourself, if you remove that backpack, what would it do for you? It's a good one and a tough one. So that's limiting beliefs, you guys. Let me know what you think and maybe comment below what would you do if you remove that backpack?